Destiny is in Lansing, Michigan. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show, Destiny. Hi, Dave. I'm so glad to talk to you. You too. What's up? Uh, well, I'm 20 years old right now, and I'm kind of an emotional wreck when it comes to my money. I have um, a $15,000 a year income, but I'm in $14,000 of debt. On what? Um, eight hundred eight thousand is college. Thousand two hundred fifty is unemployment. A thousand is from the IRS. And two thousand eight hundred is credit card debt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you working forty hours? And, um, yeah, I am. Really? Um, Making fifteen thousand? Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I did my math wrong, but I usually get three hundred thirty dollars um each check. So I times that by four for each month. And then I times it by twelve, and I only got like fifteen thousand something. Is that Maybe that's I'm your take home? Wrong. But that's your take home pay. Yes. Yes. Okay. And you actually are getting two more checks than that. So, because um, there's two months but, a year, um, you get five checks. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, but that's the okay. thing is, it's not like a it's not like a normal job. I work at a beauty supply, so I work like. 20 hours on Friday and Saturday, so 10 hours Friday, 10 hours Saturday, 10 hours Monday. Mm -hmm. So when I did try to apply to other jobs to, like, bring up that income, um, no one wants me, like, for the little amount of time that I'm available. So that's kind of why I'm stuck with this small amount of income. Mm -hmm. Well, or you could change jobs because this job's not that great. My mom said that. Yeah, your income sucks. Yeah, and you're basically no, working. Just, you're basically working a minimum wage job, which is part of your problem. Um, so yeah, we got to work on your career side because you're not making any money. Is part of the problem. I mean, if we, we doubled your income, all of a sudden a lot of this problem would go away, wouldn't it? Right. I had a job actually at two temp. I worked at a temp agency, um, and I was going to school for accounting, so I got jobs in accounting. Mm-hmm. But I found that I was too incompetent to keep those high paying jobs, and I've honestly have gotten fired from both of them. Not because of my personality, just because I couldn't do it. So I was making a lot more, and I kind of had to downgrade because I feel like I'm not confident enough to work in a higher paying position after those experiences. Well, I would disagree. I think if you're breathing, you're competent to work uh, mm-hmm. in a higher paying position than you're in now. Um, mm-hmm. Now, so uh, you were in school and you're not anymore? Uh, that was my second question. I am trying to go back, and I want to pay out of pocket so I can then get a better, like, degree to get a better job in, like, the fashion industry. But I don't know if I can afford to pay out of pocket because when did you graduate? Left. When did you graduate from high school? Three years ago? Two years ago? Twenty sixteen. I graduated. What was your uh, What was your GPA in high school? Three point seven. So why could you not pass the accounting classes? It wasn't that. I did great in school, and I just got back from the advisors, actually. It's just the fact that working full-time and going to school full-time just kind of bit me in the butt, honestly. I'm very sensitive, and it kind of stressed me out, so I start... I started working okay. more and going to school less. Well, you've got enough. You're smart enough to do the accounting if it's what you want to do. Not anymore. Why? Just because you couldn't do it and you because you didn't know what you were doing before? Yeah. Hurt your feelings? It made me feel like I probably should go towards something I'm more confident in, like fashion, um, where I know that I can do better. Okay. Um, well, the problem with that is, is the fashion career is a very difficult career to land a decent paying job in. Very, very difficult. It's, it's, it's like saying, I want to be an actor. I want to, I want to be an artist. It's the same thing. That, that's a very um, subjective, tough road you're choosing there versus the accounting. I think you just stubbed your toe. I think I want to get you back on the horse and get you riding again. Um, hold on. I'm going to send you a copy of the book, The Total Money Makeover, to help you with the money decisions. And then you need to make some career and life and education decisions that you pay cash for. 